I wish my story is animated in my story animated uh, Y'all definitely heard about this my story animated channel and y'all definitely know it's fake as hell But I'm gonna be reacting to them anyways I'm gonna try relating as much as I can to these people and see if like I can like Understand what they're going through, you know being in their shoes uh, living their mindset um Anyways, we're gonna watch this video. Let's get straight into it. Ever since I was little, I hated my parents. Whoa, 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 you hated your what? Bro, if I said that anywhere, I would get whooped 20 in the end. Okay, wait, I'm judging too fast, I'm judging too fast. Let's see why does she hate her parents. Let's see why. They ignored me 24 seven because they were famous actors. They were always shooing me away while they signed autographs for their fans and talked on the phones with their agents. Can't you read me a bedtime story just this once? Eden, just take something from the shelf and look at the pictures. Oh yes, mother, I will totally do that. Just grab 20 books and look at the photos and enjoy my life living. You're such a good mother, raising me such a nice way, you know, with books and not not a tablet and um and no PlayStation 5. My aunt was my live-in BFF, but one day when I was in 10th grade, my parents decided to ruin my life. They took away your damn books, didn't they? Ah, uh, such abusive parents. Oh my god, I'm gonna call 911. Oh, you shut up! This ain't no your video! In serious note, let's see why is she upset. Why is this the worst day of her life? I woke up and smelled smoke, so I ran downstairs to see what was burning, but I didn't see anything. Instead, my parents were just sitting on the couch and told me the worst news ever. They made Aunt Zoe move out. That still doesn't tell me the reason why they'll smoke in your house. Come on, bro. I mean, it sucks if somebody, like, moves out of your house. Like, if anything like that happens to me, I'll cry. Ah! R.I.P. in the chat for this girl, though. I still want to get to the part where the Rubik's Cube is and showing in the dumb smoke, Eden. My sister was. YouTube has done me dirty, bro. I'm, I'm. <laughs> we just reached the, the climate of the video, and then YouTube decides to give me an ad like that, bro. Like I'm not even old enough to drive. Anyways, what happened is that the girl got kicked out because um she started a fire while creating breakfast. So uh, that's really rude and offensive because you're just telling us that we're not worth it, and you'll serve us dog food one point i was standing by myself when this famous teen actor came up to me hey there gorgeous just say your name and i'll make an autograph out for you i started to walk away but the guy pulled me close to him hey yo i would let no boy touch me like that stop fighting your desires princess you deserve this with that he leaned in as if he were about to kiss me i shoved him off so hard that he fell backwards onto the refreshment table smashing it in half yeah, that boy really needed a lesson, bro. He's still living back when Romeo and Juliet was the main story. I want the girl on this part, though. Like, just don't put your hands on people, mate. Like, if you have money, that doesn't mean you could buy me. So, yeah, true lessons to them younglings. Don't touch people. Don't. Kenny, I'm gonna beat you up right now. I don't care if you're younger than me. I'm a... <gasps> All the party guests went ballistic at me. My parents and I got kicked out of the party and me assaulting the celebrity was all over the news. Now everyone thinks we have a maniac for a daughter and no one's hiring us. Apparently, Eden has violence issues we didn't know about. Yeah, I think it was better if that girl, like, let the boy do his thing. Like, what the hell? Nobody saw what was going on? You're really out here telling me that no one saw what was going on. And you're really out here telling me that you didn't stuck up for yourself? I don't even know what I'm saying. What the hell stuck? Uh, I just realized I'm not even past three minutes of the damn video. So I'm gonna skip ahead a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then one day, I was at school and went to the library to study for exams. But as I was wandering through the aisles, I felt someone watching me. I turned around to see the crazy actor who tried to kiss me, staring at me through the open bookshelf. Hey there, princess. You happy to see me? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Did you track me down? I did in fact track you down. This is straight up creepy. Like, how is a boy chasing a girl, bro? Leave the poor girl, girl alone. Oh my god, I sound like Gru right now. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you a quick recap of the latest five minutes I just watched of this show. Um, the parents are missing. Aunt Zoe is living with the girl again. And that little boy, the little creep. 
He's no more. <laughs> no, he's not dead. The girl just has a restraining order against him. And on top of that, I think I got clickbaited, but not the easy clickbait that's like just exaggerating, you know, using a little bit of hyperbole. No, is this clickbait? It it's not even related to the title of the damn video. She dressing every day in mom's clothes and talking in mom's voice. She started going by mom's name. Eden, you're not allowed to call me Aunt Zoe anymore. You have to call me Aunt Savannah. And Aunt Savannah is off to an acting audition. Okay, so what's going on is that the Zoe girl, the aunt, is pretending to be like the mom. And still, there's nothing related to the title of the damn video. Yeah, it's a little selfish of how the aunt wants to be, like, represented as the mom of the girl. But, like... That's weird. That's really weird. I ran downstairs to find Aunt Zoe shredding hundreds of pictures of my parents. Are you shredding pictures of mom and dad? It's something that has to be done. They're obviously not coming back, which means we have to perform a ceremony to say goodbye to them. All of a sudden, Aunt Zoe scooped up a pile of shreds and put it into a pot of boiling water. I'm putting their old pictures into a soup that we're going to eat. She just came straight out of the devil. Because who in their right mind would take photos of somebody, rip them up, make a, a soup out of it, and eat it? And then eat it! That's disgusting. It's disgusting! At this point, I'm not even trying to relate to anybody nor anything. I'm just interested in where the heck plot is going to go. Like, are the parents going to come out of nowhere? Is she going to wake up? Is the devil gonna crawl right out of her mouth? I have no clue. And suddenly, the door opened and the cops came in with my parents. I burst into tears and hugged them for the longest time. I don't understand. What happened to you guys? Your dad and I decided to drive to the movie shoot and we got lost in the desert. Luckily, we found some campers who were able to feed us. Yeah, um, famous people went missing and no one cared. And after this, we realized that Zoe is a bad guy because she's psycho so that's why she got kicked out of the house in the first place and everything's good and everything's fine i did not see a five-year-old get challenged by a mother so yeah i got clickbaited it happens to the best of us but guess what i'm a clickbait you guys well i hope you guys like this video i had everything down in the description hopefully i don't forget anything and yeah, this is my first ever reaction video. I'm definitely going to do more of these because I, I like the process and everything. And I hope you guys like and subscribe. You know? uh, and you can check out my videos if you like what you see in the background, me solving cubes. I do that mostly. And um, if you like this reaction video, well, I'm going to do more of it. So, see you guys next time.